hi good morning you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's me irene and you're welcome to another vlog if you're just tuning in thank you for welcome coming for joining please hit that red subscribe button down below to my you know returning subscribers you guys are the best so you're welcome to another vlog like i've said i just finished filming a f two videos now actually with this same t-shirt i don't care <laughs> So, and those videos are probably going to go up first before this one. So I just decided, let me, with all this my makeup, with all this my, you know, let me just start this week's vlog. So, okay. So I'm going to show you what it looks like or what it feels like to be in the village. You know, show you around. Elena, please leave that thing. Leave it. So I'm going to show you around, show you what it is, you know, village life. See, I like the lamb mango, eh? Ike mango, I want my fat. I like the mango, rakashi. Okay. But... I actually like actually in this neighborhood. So there are a lot of village stuff, food, food. So if you would like to see a lot of you know other village vlogs and don't just stay in the comment section of this vlog. Okay. So like I said, I just said let me come and okay. show you my makeup. Come and show you this fine face. <laughs> Anyways, Hi, so I see the problem that this place Hi. has is that I don't know what happened to that transformer. Yeah. That transformer, they're having light issues, but there's enough network, everything is just going sharp sharp. Elena, please let me hear myself. See, this girl has learned to be doing video herself. She'll just carry something like that. Let me show you. Mommy, now I do my own video. You're doing your own video? Hey. Oh, yeah, say hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. How much my channel about eating cashew? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, please let me say something. I don't know if I should open a channel for her because this girl she she can do wonders. Every time she just carry something, I don't know what she's carrying, whether block anything, she just can't be saying, Hey hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And anything that happened that day, she'll just narrate the whole thing. Maybe I should just open her own channel for her so that she can, you know, talk talk the talk. You know, she has probably developed that love for filming videos or you know, doing videos just because she, of seeing me doing videos. So like I was saying, what was I saying, Seb? Okay. So these people, they are having light issues. So because of that, we do go out to the road to go plug our phone. You know, well, of course we are going to pay 50, 50 naira each phone. Whether you charge full, whether you charge hundred percent, it doesn't charge hundred percent. Just going to pay. So I want to go early now before my phone goes down. Okay. So let me go now and go and charge it so that by evening I'll start uh, editing my video. I have a lot of videos to upload. Okay. So I'll start editing the videos and then start sharing them. So I just hope you're having a good day. I just hope you're okay, you're happy, you're alive. <laughs> yeah, remove this thing, remove it. I don't spoil my phone a bit. So, so I just hope you're having a good day, a lovely. Do have a lovely day and yeah, wait for a lot of other things that will show this week. Okay. What? Yeah, it's Friday, Yeah, we are both wearing trousers. You can yeah. imagine. We are swinging. Anyways, catch you guys later. Thank you. Hey, hey, guys, do you know what this thing is? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I told you guys, see village food. If you know what this thing is, please say so in the comment section. I come again. I come again. I come again. I come again. I come Morning. <laughs> so today I'm taking you guys on an adventure. And get digging to catch you. And I push it again. So I get digging to catch you. I get your hair catch you. Sorry. I get to catch you. I get to catch you. I to catch you. So yeah, I'm going to show you how it's done. How nearby I get to catch you. Okay. This is actually not catch you period because catch you are one. But then some fatty trees can go catch you. So let's, let's go pack them. See my bag. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm going to fill it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go.
So guys, see what we got. I want to go to Bruno Kibu. Aje. Man. I want to go to Bruno Kibu. Man. This is Oba. Oba na kaka. Oba seragi. Yeah, na ma. Ona ya. Yes, see this guy. Hi guys. Good afternoon. So we just got back from the cashew hunting few hours ago and I just finished having my bath and I'm actually going out to go charge my phone. Like you all know, I'm in the village and I said so. I think I've mentioned it in my last but if I haven't, sorry, let me mention it now. There's no light. See, there's electric bulb pole, so. But currently they are having transformer issues. So this is what I'm wearing to my Cinderella gown. <laughs> So, and I'd like to end this vlog here, but before I end the vlog, I'd like to share with you a story. I know you guys, you love story. That's it. <laughs> so you guys, you love story. So let me quickly tell you why I'm no longer friends with my best friends. Yeah, I think that type of makes sense. We used to be five friends, five close friends, like we say one thing and we do it. But then somehow, things changed and everybody at your way, yeah? Yeah, so sometimes friendship... I don't know, maybe they're not meant to last, yeah? So sometimes it'll just last, and sometimes it doesn't last, but you knock yourself, you just have to take it. Good afternoon, sir. So you just have to take it the way you see. So it happened that a few months after my wedding, uh, I discovered that one of my friends was now my husband's, uh, what do I call her? What's the right word again? Informant. So despite being my best friend, she would be giving my husband information about me, like what I cooked, what I did not cook, you know, silly things. And then she, she'll come before me and pretend like she hasn't really been talking with my husband. So I ask her, because those times when my husband calls, I'm like, oh, I'm with this, my friend, like, can you please speak with her? She keeps me company. And he's like, no, don't worry, don't worry, let's just talk. Okay, and those times I wonder, I say, ah, why are they not talking? I mean, they both linked me up. I, they, she, it was through her I met my ex-husband, husband as husband I then. So, it continued like this for a very long time. Then, those times I ask her, do you, do you talk with him? Ah, you should talk, talk with him. Or, you know, even if it's on Facebook, chat with him. Well, well, I don't know. I no longer see your comments. I no longer see what is happening. She said, I not to know. You know that we are both married now, so that she wouldn't be crying and that kind of stuff. So, I thought it was genuine. Until one day, <laughs> you know, every day is for the thief. And then one day is for the owner. So, one day... His phone got, he came back and his phone got spoiled, so he left the phone and traveled back. So I took the phone and I went and repaired the phone. But to my surprise, if you see what I saw on that, <laughs> if you see the conversations I saw on that phone, eh? <laughs> guys, if it was you, you would probably have done worse than what I did. So I'm not going to go into details like telling you what I saw and what I did not saw, but I know that she became his informant. And you know why I'm so happy is that. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't find anywhere where she mentioned that I am either going after men or I'm doing anything silly. Okay, so the only thing that she could say was I am stingy and that I am, I don't know what else that she even said, I've forgotten. A lot of other nasty stuff that she said. But then that's why I had problems with her. So then what I did, I thought of how to handle this thing because when it was my marriage, I, have to, I had to protect my marriage. And secondly, she he, she lifted me up, so no doubt about it. So I thought of what to do, and I decided that I wasn't going to ask her anything about it. I was just going to pretend like nothing happened, and not just pretend they don't. And then don't ask her. I won't even ask both of them. So, but I got to a point where I just couldn't hold it anymore. So I asked him, my husband, then, and he said all the stupid, stupid stuff that he did, and I just let it pass. But I stopped talking to her. So she came asking me, why is it I don't I don't want to talk to her anymore? Why is it I'm not responding? Her there? Why is it I'm not responding? I'm not replying her chat and all that. I just didn't say anything. So her mind started, you know, pricking her. She felt that she has, she had found out. Or that my husband, she actually thought my husband told me about it. She didn't know I found out myself. I'm sure she's going to watch this video and she's going to know finally how it happened. <laughs> so, so she said, okay, why don't I listen to her first? That I should let her talk. Let her say her own side of the story. But I just didn't let that happen. Because I felt she is my friend. Even if, even if my husband asked her to, you know, to become his informant. It is left for her to say, no, because we've come a long way. We've been friends for so long, even before I met and married him. So he should, she shouldn't just become his informant just like that. 
So I felt she should have let me know. Or even if she doesn't want to let me know, she shouldn't have done the job. She shouldn't have been that informant that she became. So I felt she had nothing to say. As long as she actually did it, or as long as she actually became his informant, I didn't have to listen to her. So all of my friends became upset with me that why did I, you know, that I should have at least let her say her own part of the story, why it happened, you know. I just didn't give a damn. I said, no, everybody should. If you say it's good, if you say that what she did is good to me, no problem. Somebody's going to do the same thing to you. So at that point, that was how I handled the situation. I don't actually know if it was right or, or not, but that was how I felt as I then. So, but just tell me in the comment section if you think the way I handled the situation was right. If you think it wasn't, then you can as well share the right way I should have handled the situation. But as I then, this is how I handled it, and I was so upset with her. And I didn't talk to her. So for, 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 for over for over four years now, I don't think I've seen her with my two eyes. Is it four years? For over four years, yes. I haven't actually seen her in my job because I said then I got ties with her and I even moved from that apartment to a different place where she never she didn't know and you know I just left basically. So if you think I handled it right, you know, give it a thumbs up. But if you think I should have done something differently, say so in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, okay? And I'll see you in my next video.